Not bad. <laughs> Call the meeting to order. First order of business, we've got some deeds to sign. We're going to be signing this all in the official capacity. Yes. Of the old people. That as well. Yeah, so it's not going to sign it, though, because I've been waiting for my new car. I have to shut it up. <laughs> so, first is the sentence here you need. Second is a deed with no covenants uh, for a property on Rebels Mine Road that we had taken on tax deed and then repurchased. Okay, any extra property that was? Map and what? Uh, yes, sir. Sorry. Map um, 5, lot 712. 12 and a half acres. Was um, repurchased by the Edward Daniel Stewart Revocable Trust. And another deed with no covenant, same situation. This is for uh, MAP 2, lot 862, sublot 2, located at 317 Razor Hill Road. 24 acres of land was repurchased by Christopher Pines and David Colpads. Yes.
Well, I, I guess maybe I could bring something up. It's no big deal, but um, I'm having a lot of problems with my computer. I keep getting kicked off it. It's been going on since May, June, whatever. Get on for a minute, get kicked off. Take me five minutes to get back on, on for a couple minutes and off again. And I talked to my friend in Concord, who's um, attorney, one of the attorneys generals, and he, I, I asked him if I could call the public utilities, and he said, no, the people you need to talk to are your selectmen. Then you're gonna call them, and they're gonna say, talk to your selectmen, because the selectmen were the ones that basically brought the business into town way back when. So they are responsible for it. So what I'd like to know is, have there been a lot of complaints about it? Is it, is it can I ask first, is it at a particular time of day? Or is it any time? Ooh, I don't go on it very often. Um, I don't think so. Okay, because I have heard, there have been people that have mentioned in the evening, like five, six o'clock, you get in there, which she said. Oh, I'm never on at that time. For the last month. Yeah. I, yeah, because we eat around 5.30, and 6 o'clock, thereabout, I have trouble with it. <clears throat> what I do is I reset the box. I just pull the plug out of the back, count 25, and I put it back in. I think you only need to count to 10, but... <laughs> <laughs> and how long do you manage to stay on once you do that? Usually, I don't have any more trouble. Oh, I've done that and still had trouble. I think I need a new box. Well, my box is a year old. Mine's not a year old. It may be a year old. I, well, have you contacted your cable company? It's really not a selection. You have a contract with your provider, not with us. The status. But you, you just said. But that being said, <clears throat> I heard a lot of those complaints. And I've encountered it a few times. I have been told, and how much faith I put in it, I don't know, but I can see the logistics to it, that Keenan and Enfield are running some mesh network kind of stuff. And they will set up hardware throughout the course of the day and tap into the main line at night. And when they tap into the main line, everything goes flat. They tap in, they turn it back on. I should, you said something about the, were you responsible for bringing the business to town? Is Not that, you guys, the, the prior selectmen way back when phone lines first came to town, uh, internet came to town, because supposedly you are the ones who give them permission to come into town. That's how it was explained. <laughs> Okay. I know. <laughs> when, when we built the house, we were told that cable was coming to town, so my husband wired the whole house for cable. Where is it? Right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, <laughs> following that, that theory, that, years ago. following oh. that theory, that makes us responsible for telephones, electric company, water, if there's if they city water. Well, I guess that would be city water. Well, but maybe I'll make a call now to, to yeah, I would. see what they say. I'll call the public utilities. I call them. It's also public utilities. I would say it's consolidated. It's all your cable company. No, I'm going to go beyond them. I but it could be something as simple as if the is going bad or something. You just you know, to they're, 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 they're private. They're private. Yeah. Public yeah. utilities yeah. are going to tell you to call them. They're private industry. You need to call the people you have to find. Well, my friend said public utility is going to tell me to call, uh, that they're going to tell me to call the select board. So I'll make a call if you were to I call consolidated. Well, I'll just do the normal thing and start with calling consolidated. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's the first guy I spoke to yeah. on a Saturday night, he said, um, well, you're either uploading or downloading something at that time every night. I said, most certainly in the Well, I know it's not it's not a time no. at night because no. I'm in the yard till we get dark. So right. it's it's early, it's like so then nine o'clock in the morning. Again, 
and they said, well, you really need to call when it's happened. I said, okay. So the next time it went up, I called. Like, oh, no satisfaction whatsoever. I said, you know what? I said, you sons of bitches. I'm messing around. I said, and I'm about tired of it, and I'll be really glad when my contract is up, which is October 23rd. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Paul. I was wondering if the board has any insight into what's going on on the planning board, if the meetings will be resuming anytime soon. I'm told next month we'll be right back on schedule. On top of everything else, there was issues. I couldn't have been there this month anyhow. So it wasn't going to happen. My mother was here and I had to bring her home. Mom Trump's plan was that's that. Um, as far as everybody else, where they were, what they were doing. I can't speak for them, but I wasn't going to be there no matter what. And is enrolling today, but there will be a meeting in September. Yeah, I, I, that's what I was told to be right back on track, so. So, no plan board is really? Hmm? No plan board? There was no plan board. No, they didn't, they didn't meet in August at all. I'm surprised we haven't heard from Anson Smith because I think he didn't have some business going on anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, anyone else? Uh, we need it today. <laughs> Should we send the MS1? We got a couple minutes. The MS1 is the summary inventory evaluation. One of our many lovely forms that the Department of Revenue requires. Um, the apps are basically fills in the blanks for us mostly. I mean, isn't there? They walk me through how to do it. Okay. Time. I just noticed Jaren's name was on it. Yeah, he helped. Okay. <laughs> Where are we saying? We're right on the front page. Just to give you the bottom line. Where are we at here? In the front page. I love this over and I saw on there. Net valuation without utilities, uh, $137,309,044. Net valuation with $141,147,844. Your name's on it. Yeah. <laughs> I still didn't sign James. I don't think I have. Now we've got nobody to pass it back to. No, nobody needs to. The box stops there. Notarize it. I got one more right here. Hmm? What's up here? What's a minute? Come on, up, Russell. Awesome. <laughs> get a comfy chair. 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 So, thanks for coming. Sure. We just wanted kind of an update on what's going on with um, personnel. If I get somebody new, there's been rumors of all Mitchell. We just want to kind of squash the rumors. Mitchell resigned his full time position. We all knew that. Yeah. Um, so we hired somebody else. That person can be seen riding around with me and will be riding around with me until January when he leaves for Police Academy. And then hopefully by. 16 weeks after January, they'll be back and producing with them. Did Mitchell, is Mitchell still on his like, part-time on call kind of thing? He's okay. still on the roster, yeah. Okay. Um, what else did I have for you? There were three things. Puff Beach. Mm -hmm. They have talked about uh, some vandalism going on down there. So there's a couple of different times of vandalism that took place that helped each over the summertime. Um, both times it was the new dog that was down there. First time, 
kid. There's kids, I'm trying to think about what I can Yeah, I know. So kids from, you know, outside of town, second time, uh, I'm led to believe that it's kids from outside of town. Um, I think that it's quite possible that the selectmen came up with a solution how to control people at the beach, it would be good. Mm -hmm. uh, the police, obviously the police department can't sit down there and babysit every day, all day long. And when a police officer shows up in uniform, people don't act up and they don't vandalize. So both of these things happened during the day, it wasn't nighttime stuff. Um, people in the public actually saw it when it happened. Problem is, people in the public don't want to confront people. Yeah. Uh, they also don't want to call the police because they want to make a scene or, or whatever. Uh, they want to get involved. Mm -hmm. So I have at least one couple of different theory, you know, groups that we could potentially research. One is. Put a restriction on an age restriction on kids who are there unsupervised. Um, the second would be potentially have a way of knowing uh, who is in town or who is a resident of Rath and they're allowed to be there versus the people who are from out of town. In other words, the dump has a sticker. Maybe, you know, if somebody drives in without a sticker, it's very easy for other people to tell that they're not supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. uh, Russell, on that note, if I could ask, uh, I brought up the question before of uh, what about the uh, public building that exists there. <coughs> other people from our town are able to use that, right? I don't. I have no idea about a public boat ramp at the beach. If you look at the uh, sign just to the right, where it says "Up Beach," there's a New Hampshire DES boat ramp sign there. People mm -hmm. launch their boats and canoes right next to the uh, dam. Okay. So maybe you know that might might be hard for people to tell. I mean, obviously, some people would be allowed to, to launch their boats if that is the case and be from outside of town. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure that the selecting once upon a time, there were rules that have to be a, the sign. The old sign says something to the effect of The sign says a member, which yeah. you, know, you interpret how you want. Guests yes, only. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. A member and, and a guest, so the actual beach. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so if there, is a, if there is a boat spot there, we have to deal with that, I guess, uh, differently. Yeah, uh, I'm not saying we, we uh, can't do that. I'm just saying, you know, you strip just the beach itself. You have to let people get the boat ramp. Did yeah. you want to jump in? Mm -hmm. Yes, the boat ramp is actually not on the beach. It's uh, down the roadside. That, uh, that was brought up in uh, front of the selectmen and, uh, with the road agent uh, a few years back. Uh, I do know about a uh, uh, public boat launch that's on Main Street, right. completely across the water from the beach. <coughs> uh, but that's, you don't get to it from the actual beach area, mm -hmm. the one that I know of. Right. What I've seen is the one right next to the dam. No, oh, yeah. that's yeah. not a uh, boat launch. This is New Hampshire DES boat launch sign there. Right next to the left beach now. Oh, that far away from it. No idea. I've seen people uh, oh. carry boats down through there. I'm just asking you, what's the status of that? That's my question. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. I've never seen the DES sign. No. So it has to be something new. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll check it out. And what do you think about um, the major restriction? Mm -hmm. Right to you get into an age restriction, who's in and on to the age? Uh, I approached that. Uh, I've gone up uh, to Canyon and all that. And Canyon Beach has a host that sits there. 
Now, if we can get somebody to uh, volunteer their time to sit there to monitor what goes on there. There have been several times that I've asked people to leave because they weren't from town. They just go and have a conversation with people and they're mm -hmm. not from town. Mostly, um, every time, actually, every time, it was a, a teenager driving age with I mean, their friends. Right, I mean, the second would uh, would help solve uh, some of the problem. Uh, but as far as age goes, I have to get somebody to monitor it uh, all the time. And the sign should probably be rewritten. So we we had talked about ordering a sign. Why is that on hold? Can you make me remember? Yes, it's that. Uh, from what I gathered, uh, you were uh, somebody said Sandy Goodwin was waiting to uh, paint one. And uh, you had said to me that that's uh, about getting the state to take and uh, do one because it would be on metal and uh, last uh, right. long. And we were looking at uh, you looking at uh, uh, to add any more language uh, to the sign. I kind of thought we tossed that to the art committee. I guess not. I think it's just kind of on hold, I don't think I have that. I'm sure I don't have that with me, what that language was for the sign that she proposed. I'm sorry. Because I'm like, mm -hmm. on the sign that says that no dogs out there. Well, there's people that go down there with dogs, so there's nobody to get monitor it. Like, just because it's on a sign doesn't mean people are going to... Well, there's not, not supposed to be dogs on the right field. There's dogs there, and no matter if you have an event, there's dogs. So... No, I don't know what you're doing. Well, you'll have to find the wording, get the sign, Get it up. Each season is on their store. There it is. That's what I was thinking. This is the sun to be to resolve right this minute. I'm sorry. That's what I was thinking. I mean, it's the sun to No, wait. Off right this we'll, we'll, but we need to, right, this like comes up every year around this time or yeah. in the midsummer. It'd be nice to nip it in the bud before yeah, yeah, your season get it done starts. Now, so yeah, it's on its off. <coughs> I'd like to find out about this. It, it's it's got to be the design of the, of the property. Say if there's actually a whole bunch there, right? I believe the color is the best. I read the deed, there isn't. But the sale is from the damn bill of code. Right, right. Well, let's see what's sign up there. You need to resolve it with that one way or the other. If there is a way, I believe it's not. But I know when we did the bridge, that was all through the state because they own that land. Right. That's so where the sign comes from. I guess it's really the <coughs> down on my own is the right of way in Hump Beach. Are you going to go take a look at that? Right back there, sir. Okay. Instead of saying uh, just no dogs, maybe it would be a better thing to uh, let people know that there's a place for dogs and allow them to walk in the right field back where the the portion of the city. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a pretty big area back there, yeah. and there's nothing going on back there. That's a good point. Speaking of dogs, what's going on with the dog warrant? Uh, I have a dog warrant. I have a list of people that I'm going to go and talk to who don't have um, registrations for their dogs. There's an RSA that says how much time there is to get all that done. All right, we're ready to go. I think two weeks ago, I was getting the list, what I call the dog list. But yeah. I, I, I think the proper terminology would be the warrant. Well, we're, we're required to sign a warrant. Jenny and Tom signed a warrant. 
Yeah, I don't think that this is signed. So we may want to take a look at the whole process. How, yes, the process to figure out the proper way of doing it. Yeah. I mean, Grafton voted a long time ago to implement, I think it's 644. So we probably should figure out how to do it. Yeah, I, um, I actually mentioned to somebody, um, actually the owner of the 603 when I went in, about all the controversy in town with the dog warrant and how the list is wrong and everything else. And the owner there told me that she gets a letter from the police chief mm -hmm. telling her her dog is not licensed, needs to be licensed. So once that list is compiled by the town clerk, it goes to the selectman to be signed off on. And the selectmen go directly to the police chief, and whatever the police chief does with it is up to him from that point on. Right. The town government is completely out of it. From that point, it's essentially a list of people that are in violation. Right. And it becomes a police issue. Yeah. So prior to that is where we're having, I don't know, uh, you know, I don't know the entire system. I can't. Maybe we should sit down and talk with uh, the town clerk mm -hmm. and make sure that we're doing it. Needs to be done. I'd be curious to see the list that you have. We had so, asked for a couple of I know I was wrong. Yeah, that list is actually protected. Um, you guys can see it from the selectman's office, obviously, but you can't, I wouldn't be able to read off the list. No, 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 I'm not suggesting that. I would, be, I would be curious if the list that you got is the one that we signed. Yeah, that's a good question. Because I know that there was a name on there that was not on the list she gave us. And that person received a certified letter saying that they owed, I mean, I know what it was. I know that was. $32, $42 for a dog that had been dead for years. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes. And she wasn't even on the list, any of the lists that we had seen. Right. Keeping track of it really is, it's got to be difficult on her part. Because. Somebody has a dog for say, well, anywhere up to 10, 12 years, maybe a little bit longer, but uh, I think that she goes by, a regular person comes in and they register their dog very regularly once every year, and then all of a sudden they stop registering the dog. Well, the list doesn't change because they don't openly say, hey, my dog died, so I don't have to register it anymore. So yeah. she doesn't know to take that off the list. Maybe some, I don't know, yeah. some communication with people about dogs, I don't know, something. Yeah. My concern is the people that were on the list that had dogs registered. <coughs> that what? That had dogs registered. Yes. That would get you. But I, 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 can ask, I didn't ask Russell to come in to talk about right. whether or not the town clerk is, is doing anything right. I just wondered where you were at with it, if you finished it up, if it was taken care of. No, I mean, it was it. actually, it was one of the topics that you wanted to talk to me about, so I purposely didn't touch it. Okay. Just to find out what yeah. you wanted me to do with it. Yeah. And, and I mentioned to you that, that we knew there were there were errors on the list we were given. So it's so actually it's given to you. I need to see you chasing your tail. Right. Well, I, I tend to weed the chasing my tail thing out. I go and okay. talk to people. Yeah. Um, and I find out what's going on. If the dog has passed away, I'll look right like, next to their name that has okay. passed away, and I'll, I'll let her know that. Um, and other people, I would rather give them a little leeway to come up with the money and pay, sure. and I talk to them, than pull them into court. Yes. Which is part of the reason why I always said, why I've sat down and called the people to give them that, that opportunity to, mm -hmm. to get in there before it gets handed to you. Right, and which I gave them that was opportunity. Was anyway, from, so. yeah. All right, we'll work on the process for next year, maybe. Um, and the last thing, we talked to the auctioneer. We're going to possibly do an auction in the end of October. And one of the things that came up was um, two of the properties that were deeded this year may still have occupants in them, mm -hmm. even though they've already been given their notice to vacate. Did you go through the whole eviction process? They were sent a letter saying that a notice to vacate, that's it. Right. So as far as I know, you have to go through the whole civil eviction process for those people. 
Just like any. Okay. We'll check with the town attorney. Just like anyone. Yeah. Have to do that. Okay. Yeah, he had just said to have the uh, police chief check and see if they're still there. Uh, I can do that. I can check and see if they're still there. Yeah. But I can't physically move them. Right, right, absolutely. Okay. We'll get you the addresses. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Um, you were talking about that on the beach, so I figured that would be a nice time to talk about that. Uh, it comes up year after year about uh, the platoon boats uh, being parked out there. And, uh, and that was, we had mentioned that not only the sign that, um, I think it was Cheryl, no, Sheriff Conan that, asked, that had the sign written up. Yeah, and we had mentioned also getting the one we talked about last year, boat parking. One with an arrow that says boat parking this way kind of a thing. Uh, I met with uh, some of them uh, this past weekend and uh, they approached me and uh, asked me about it. So uh, yeah, we met at the uh, beach and the area that they'd like to park at two platoon boats is on the far side. We had the geese take and uh, come on land and do their duty. Yep. And, and uh, there's enough room there for two platoon boats. Okay. And uh, they said the purpose is the grandkids come up, they won't be able to dock so the kids can get off there and uh, swim at sure. the beach. They will do, if we uh, buy a row with the buoys, they will uh, will to take it and bring it uh, right straight out uh, 90 feet out, and that would keep uh, draw a line for the uh, platoon boats not to go beyond that. And Didn't something come up a few years back about putting buoys out there? The DES had something to say about the depth or the. I thought it was determined we could not do a line with buoys according to the DES rules. No, it's the swim line. No. That's just the swim line. The swim line. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. this is different. The thing with the platoon boats, they were all in favor of okay. yeah, If they could just dock two yeah, on the far side, away from there, and yeah, they, they could yeah, bring the line out and anchor it. And As opposed to putting up a sign? Well, put a sign up. Or yeah. two sides. Okay, yeah. okay. Solves the problem. Yeah, I mean, we're talking a fairly minimal cost. Right. I would uh, go along with uh, putting the rope up because then that uh, prevents anybody else from, uh, from the other side saying, well, they went uh, beyond uh, this point here that we yep. agreed. Uh, if the rope is there, they know. Yep, okay. Keep somebody from getting run over by a boat. Right. Okay, are you guys? Thank you. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Bobby, you're up. Excuse me. Thank you for coming. Do you want to start with your budget or do you want to start with the other crap? Whatever you want to start. Let's do the, let's do, because I, I noticed you turned in a bunch more today. Are we, uh, my concern is just that, are we, are we going to make it to the end of the year? Because I know where you're at with some line items right. and I know others are still at really but I just want to make sure we're going to be good because if needed, we could use some ARPA money if we can show a revenue loss to cover. Just want to add to what we want to make right now. So right now, it looks like Mona's going to, if I, we have that fixed, it's seven grand for clutch rebounds. Seven thousand for a clutch rebound? Yeah. That is an estimate. Yeah. We don't right, right. Clutch. We don't know if it needs a flyway or the clutch is totally gone. Set in the air. I'm going to hold it up and hold it up and hold it up and I really don't want to play the money. We're pretty late in the season, too. Mm -hmm. you know, this is mowing season. Yeah. This is when you mow the leaves out all in all. Yeah. Do you know what the time frame would be on that, too? Month. Yeah, if, they, see, if, they kinda... get, if they get a clutch. John Harrington said he'd do it. 
kind of seems like we'd be better off waiting until next year at this point, budgeting for it. It's not going to get done. You're not going to get roadside mowing done this year anyway, right? No, You're not going to mow all of it. I mean, no, you have two months to mow. Two, two and a half months. Good weather, you can mow a little more than that. It's good weather. Well, it's going to be a long season. I practice that heat. Say, I see your wheels turning. And if everything else stays together, the back will work today, work on that all day. Back will work? Yeah. The pin fell right out of the back bucket. I got the new front bucket that I bought in 2016 on it right now. And I welded up the pins and everything. Hopefully it's going to stay together. Because it's $4,000 for the rear part of that bucket. Yeah, I think that's right. We still got the cabinet fixed. And you know what that looks like. You saw it. I did. You can see right through it. See right through it. Well, that's why I said you should have an open house and invite the public, give them a tour. Because that's the only way they're going to know how bad the equipment is. Right. The load will be fixed. I line board the bucket and everything. We don't use that maybe for what it's saying. Then get your tab out now. You know, that's not used. All right. And the grater, right. the grater in the back, all oh, in tough shape. The roadside one is in tough shape. We still got the 2010 truck. We got rid of the 2009, which, and I did figure out most of that for you too, Cindy. I took my retail budget. Um, there's 23,000 spent while I was out of work. Yeah. Yeah, you had mentioned that's what you think about. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't include the $7,000 repair to the tackles and the, the 10 wheel that I got broke while I was out. Mm -hmm. That we repaired in May. It took two months to get past for that. So that's almost 30000 I'll be a repair budget right there. Out of 43000 so There's what? Three things. How much is left? Uh, Thirty-one, almost 3200 Is that in the this case? No. Mm -hmm. But I don't blind items around in the sure. budget anyway. How was that? Right. My choice. Yeah. Okay. I go on the box them all. Seven. 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 That's just that's just for the clutch flywheel. For the mower. For the And I gotta get it together. John is on the right there, just as you get into London. They have like five station. Mm -hmm. He's the third house on the left. Third place on the line. That's that's the plot. That's not for the machine. For the tractor itself, it's for the yam on the mall. No, it's for the clutch pressure plate for our van. For the actual machine. Why? Well, yeah. Be a second machine. How old is the machine? You're throwing the you're throwing four, seven four, grand. Four. Yeah, you're gonna dump seven grand into the machine. It's gonna bring it yeah, next year. Yeah, I thought about that. The other day. Mm -hmm. What's your, have you priced out a replacement? No. You're talking 75, 85,000. It's coming from the basement. You don't have to do that. Might do that. Okay. The repairs is the worst. Yeah. And if we can do 90% of the repairs, then we can Absolutely. Yeah. Um, that right job he did on the front window was it does. what? <coughs> Three had done it. Three mm -hmm. years ago. The sign is right there. Yeah, it was 44. Yeah. So Next to the. Uh, I was willing to say three thousand. Gary, excuse me. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. All right. I just want to check and see where you're at and see if, if you needed us to. I'm hoping I'll make workouts. 
look for some money to take care of stuff. Okay, good. Well, I mean, do you really think we should go without mowing for the year? We've already gone without mowing for the year. We mowed everything last year. Yep. And the year before. And like you said, you're going to throw $7,000 into a 1994. I'd like to see what a new one costs and then be able to make a... You don't want to drag it up too long before there's no time left to mow either. So we did this, I mean, we did this with that 09. We put money into it, put money into it, put money into it, then we traded in for crap. No, nothing that we, we just dumped into it to fix it. Yeah, but that you had to plow up. Yeah, right, no right, choice. right, right. You had to plow the same road, so that had to be fixed. Is it the kind of thing you could run from somewhere? Yeah, you run from Owens. That's what we used to do before we got that. So yeah. We used to run Owens. But we bought this and it saved the town a lot of money. Right. You know, we weren't paying six thousand dollars a year at roadside mow. And you could mow at your convenience. Right. So. <clears throat> what does it cost for it? I don't know. I haven't priced it in years. Oh, probably horrendous. Everything is right about now. It was, <clears throat> was forty dollars an hour working out by the hour we did the last time we ran it was Oh, Ten years ago. It's it has to be triple sure it. Yeah, at least. I'm just wondering if it's worth fixing. We have, we have a little swap money. You know, if I had time, I'd be doing this thing. Because mm -hmm. I've done my tractor and all. But finding the time away from doing everything else, I have the same problem. Because we have to take the more and everything off it to get it done. Because it's got to be tracking the biggest foot now. You have to break it down. Break it down. So I don't the flight wheel on my hip. I did talk to ask John when I went up. I had to get some parts for the back or after he put that um, pistol on the bucket and stuff. And I talked to him about maybe taking the more off here and him coming down here and working with me and us doing it together too to try to save some money. Either way, it's a good job. Yeah. Just as long as you get everything to do with it, you, you block out the back half yeah. and you roll the front half away. Yeah, still a hand pass. It doesn't matter what you do, it's still a hand pass. What, what, what do you feel is the best way to go on? What do you think is the best thing to do? I'm not I like, I like the idea of having to drive to more at your convenience and not rain and throw money away. So you want to put to fix the clutch? I don't know why to. You know, you got the track of the moors in good shape. So why have we held off from doing that? Because I'm going to talk to the board of selectmen about it. No. Because of the cost and the way the budget's at. Gotcha. Okay. Is that all that machine? John, John was busy last month. He couldn't do it last month at all. Okay. That's all that, is that, all that machine's useful? It's for outside the board, yeah. Well, we leave the ball. We got the leaf ball wheel on the back of it too. The ball leaves out of the pitches of the narrows. So you don't know, grade the leaves. Once they come down, we go around the leaf ball and just pull them around the leaves. As long as it's been broken. Since last year. No, about the same time the back old bucket. Oh, okay. This is spring. Okay. No, it was about a month ago. Oh! A little more than once ago. I was on. No, I don't know where it was. I think Jeffrey called me. And I told it in. I went up and told it in. Okay. Every time I try to go home early, it don't work. I know the feeling. So you want me to talk to John here and then see what his time schedule is? And and the work's going to get done once it's fixed, then it's, then it's worth it. I mean, I need to 
Uh, if we're going to fix it just to say, oh, shit, snow flew before we expected it to, couldn't do it anyway, then. Well, you don't here, here, exactly. You you don't so check, check and see what his schedule is. And, you know, yeah. 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 And if you can get it down, I think we should do it. Very, I got to hit you up on a couple of projects that I've been getting phone calls about. I know I saw, I saw you were on Tunnel Road doing the culverts. Mm -hmm. That's so, where we're at yeah. today until the back of the Okay, so Tunnel Road is still a work in process. Yeah, two more than the one day. Okay. Um, Cantosi's culvert is a situation that we're going to get completed, finished, especially while Russell's here. We're going to have to address it. That's the one up the road from here. I got road culverts still before I go back there. Okay. That's definitely. She had her chance. Well, this, this, this isn't, this, 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 that, that's off the table. Yeah. But now it's a matter of you, how, 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 how many years are we going to go repairing the roads? And where Russell's sitting right here, the call. But I've got road culverts that have to be done. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm just making it clear. Oh, wait, 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 wait. On Williams Hill, I got two on Slab City, I got three on Kinsman. That no. the damage they have to do it. No, I understand all that. I'm not arguing with that. I'm just making it. The, 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 the do the do a favor and try and do the right thing game is done. Yeah. That, 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 that's come and gone. Yeah. <laughs> so, but now it's still a matter of you're going to be rebuilding the road next year again. Oh, no. If somebody gets, <laughs> the, top, the town is going to be paying for it again <laughs> if those two columns don't get done. So, and I already told you the columns are going to get done with or without a lesson. And when we have the police chief here, I mean, just want to keep him in the loop. Then, yeah. uh, because I don't expect you to go up there and have I'm not going through what I No, it's exactly, exactly. That's, that's where I'm going. Not happening. Is it that I think one? we can all draw the line that somebody's spitting at us. It's time to walk yes. away. And I was just going to say the yeah. same thing. You yeah. should have uh, pushed the issue. Yeah. I wasn't honestly that aware of that. I saw the, I, I heard the, Holler and scream and finger wagging, but oh no, the sitting was pretty bad. I, yeah. That's why I walked up the road and she <coughs> went out the day. Right. If it was 10 years ago, she'd been laying on the road. <laughs> Easy. Long five, 10 years. Spit in my face. Because I don't think I knew. No, I walked away. Yeah. Oh, that's what I mean. When, when the time comes, we there should have called Sergeant or Sergeant Barney. Where the um, logger, the logger, and yeah, the washout. I got to do the washout. I went up and measured it all up, trying to figure out how to. I think we're going to do that ourselves to, to get black hawk down here for four or five hours. It's going to cost us a lot of money. They don't guarantee their work? They guarantee their work, but. You're going to pay trucking to move in and have to move out, and you're going to pay for the whole crew to be there. Okay. I think it's easier if we go out and get hot top up and okay. take the dirt out and lay it in ourselves and roll it down ourselves. Spend a day up there and just do it. Okay. The whole crew. And you got, you said, you told me you got the material to fix where the, yes, the laundry is. Dry Is that okay? Perfect. And we're just off our sand over it. Because they can't drive on it until it dries, so it's going to be like seal on the road and throw sand on it. And if I remember right, he said he would also pay for your time? Yeah. Up to a thousand dollars. Right. Materials and done. Yep. Okay. Um, some all playground equipment. Yep. First rainy day we get, we're going to come over and rip it out. Thank you. You can do that in a rainy day. That swing set's not going to come about. That's going to have to be ripped out. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the again? Yeah. We so, put the yeah. chain on and took the back of the side of the lift and the whole top of it off. The left side didn't come out of the time. Oh, those swing sets have been there since. Yeah. Yeah. But the it's slot, a safety the issue. The slide, we might be able to cut the bolts off the bottom and then lift it out of there. I don't know if you're going to save it. I wouldn't even plan on saving it. Yeah. French Hill Road. The only other thing while you're on the town hall, you got another tree out here that should be cut. That's headed to 
for Jesse's rules this morning. Oh, the one you pointed out to me when you were cutting back yeah, there? Yeah, the one just this side of the one we cut. Is that something we want to Fox to do? No. no. Push it over the back. I asked Jesse to get back on her land and push it this way, and she said yes. Okay. You're not supposed to be adding to your to do list. You're supposed to be checking stuff out here. I haven't checked a lot. <laughs> um, French Hill Road by the Glaciers. I know Stacy had complained at one time. That's all done. I wasn't sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the dump, the, the, the container at the dump that Doug Diamond. Oh, yeah. That's fixed, thank you. That's been fixed since May. Has Jeffrey gone over to put delineator posts over by J.B. Shays where he took out his no. courtroom? No. That would be my word. So. I am I am amazed that as long as that house has been there right there that close to the road that you didn't know what about Rachel's kind of knocked in the road all the time. <laughs> of course Rachel knows. Sure. Yeah. Close to the road. You wouldn't have got the porch, you would have took out her calf. Alright. Last thing I I have is um half moon pump. After all the complaining I understand you went up and um Here's some gravel up on Riddle Hill. I'm great you were not great in gravel, okay. It was absolutely beautiful because I was well, up there two days late until after I did it. How was that? Okay. I'm ready now. Wait. So I think one of the things he had asked about was um, plowing a little further up. We popped up last year. We did it last year. You did, and they appreciate that, and they asked but for they more. But they kept moving every storm. They moved their car down further. Is remember you? Yeah. When we had the meeting, I do. He said they would show when they moved their car. Mm -hmm. Well, they did. They just kept moving down every place. Every time the plow stopped, they moved down the road. And before you knew it, that they would be on the mailbox. They didn't do any show. Okay. I talked to Sean and Kat and said, I'm right in the office. He came to the office one day. And I said, you need to take care of the people that parked there last winter that didn't do any shovel. He said, what do you mean? I said, every time we plow, they move down to the plow line. We plow again, they move down to the next plow line. Oh, really? I said, yeah. I said, we plowed up there six truck lengths when we first started, mm -hmm. and we ended up back down by the mill office. Okay. So where did they park on uh, Hensley? Right in the road, usually. And then we can't get through. Right. Because he said that they parked up on Kinsman. His wife had had a hysterectomy, and they had to walk two miles in. Tough moment. Um, boat launch over there. Yeah, boat launch wasn't Yeah, boat launch was on the side. Boat launch is on this side, and the Tucker Road is down. So they wanted us to talk to the landowners up there so they could have a place to park. Why well, can't they grab the Tucker Road and make their own place to park? I don't know. I had that conversation with did you go up and look at that? I went up and I picked it up and I drove all the way around up there. And down and over Riddle Hill and all the way over Riddle Hill and down Kingsman. And it's a long ride, right, isn't it? All the stuff he had on there was we, we I don't want to say that reasonable. They were good ideas, but nothing we have any discretion. Well, the town should have to pay for it. Right. We can't <clears throat> I'm not going to approach private landowner. Landowner. No. That's a good word. That's the word I'm looking for. And ask him if the town can plow a section of their property for somebody else to back up. Because right across from we cannot prop no. we cannot plow the DES property. And right across from uh Taco Road, they had a nice pocket place up in there that what's her name going? But now they got it all fenced off. Because people were leaving the garbage and everything. Oh, 
um, you know, back to get it kind of somehow as far as green. They ask for it to buy, at least appreciate it. They ask that Riddle Hill, they, they ask that Riddle Hill be given at least as well as Pucka Road. And when I went up there to pick him up, I had the Jeep on three wheels more than once. And out through Riddle Hill? Hmm? Out through Riddle Hill? No, out through Tucker Road. You went up Tucker Road? Oh yeah. I wanted to see, I didn't know what I was talking about. I wanted to see what I was talking about. And I asked him, how can you, how can you ask for us to maintain Riddle Hill because that was his ask, maintain Riddle Hill to the same quality of Tucker Road. I said, we just waited. I'm not going to go tear it up. Because Tucker Road, I mean, I had the Jeep on three wheels. More well, than I, believe, I believe that. Yeah. And they don't even plow, plow themselves, they which I didn't understand. They snowmobile a lot. I understand mm -hmm. that. So they wanted, they wanted us to plow a section of the snowmobile trip. And I said, he said, the guy has an agreement with the Snowmobile Association. He said, you need to speak to the land owner and or the Snowmobile Association. Because as far as I'm concerned, snowmobiles are on snowmobiles, not walking. Right. So that's not... And that road's not very wide, and if they plow it and pack it, where's the snowmobiles going to go? Right. And then it's private property. Right. So right. it wasn't really a resolution aside from just, and I'm not saying you did, just make sure we plow past the end of the road. The only thing is, God forbid, something happened up there. You can't get in there in the winter anyway. But you know what? They need to be at least be able to get to the end of Tucker Road so the town can say we did our part. What are you talking about? Tucker Road. Tucker Road up. Tucker Road on. Tucker Road on. But they at least need to be able to get to the point. Come on. The more people that go in and have to move on, the more problems you're going to have. Because when they buy that property, they know that it's not. No, so we've got another, right. another building notification on there. So, sorry right. to so um, I think we'll have to come up with something that. Um, but is the same thing going to happen up there that happens down below? You're going to get all the way up in there with the truck, and there's going to be cars in the way, and there'll be no place to turn around. Right? Mm -hmm. And that's a bad spot to turn around. Yeah. And I don't drive up there because I heard the road had trees coming in both sides. I'm not going to take my car. In Half Moon? Yeah. Because Riddle Hill's all cut out. No, Half Moon? Yeah, Riddle Hill's all cut out. The power company did quite a job up there. <laughs> no, I don't, you know, I don't know. I haven't been in Half Moon for years. Me either. Years. I went in one side of the whole hip and up the other. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go home and build another one that looks just like it. I actually have two for pop, so I'm not worried about it. But no, I wanted to know what I was talking about. You said throw away. It's not that I'm sick of hearing it, but I've heard it. So if you want to so play a in the slam, then we're going to have to do some kind of agreement with that. Because I'll only back out of there once. I think it should be fine. That would be that road. Yeah. Well, so far, it's only been word of mouth. Okay. Right? Put it on paper. So, to be right, it needs to be put on paper and signed. Can you go up there to plow on as a car? At the top. Because obviously, word of mouth doesn't work. Yeah. No, it doesn't. You make an agreement, we are all in that meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. But he's been to the meetings this year, same, same, same. I've been up there, I've been up there same first same. hand, right up. We won't pack up all your way through. Yeah. And when you've got to turn a truck around in somebody's private driveway, because you're a turn around, you can't get in it. Why not? Especially a 10-wheeler. When you've got to pull up in a five and they have a drive around. It's no better than a rent truck. Okay, that's all I got. That's it. And I'll let you know on the track, drop out to John and I'll give him a call. Thank you. I'll let you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you can too much stuff going on. My accumulated vacation. I just want to know if I'm going to get paid for it at the end of my term. Boy, do I have to take it all now. I'm going to lose it, I'm taking it. And that means I'll be out until the 20th of December. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you
have to look at what the personnel policy says. The employees in the book. He has to use it all by the end of the year. According to the personnel. This is stuff I've accumulated when I worked alone. Yes. It had an okay from the slide man at the time to accumulate it. Because I had no help and had to finish free. FEMA projects yeah. and everything else. Yeah, I remember this coming to the court. Soon as the tax in a long time. Uh, we had figured to grandfather. I think that, you know, he's working. And I believe you can make an exception. Mm -hmm. without, without becoming pressing. Yeah. I don't have a problem with it, but I can move it forward and make questions earn a policy. Right. Correct, but I think moving forward, the policy needs to be use it or lose it. It's a lot easier to maintain that policy. Well, you can do it at times, or you can. When you end up with no curve, what do you do? Well, you can address it then. Let me, let me you get this to the exception, not the rule. You know what I mean? And if that case arises, then we can deal with it on an exception basis. Let's reread the employee handbook and give you an answer. Is that okay with giving you an answer in two weeks? No. Next meeting? No, you want the answer now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't give it to you without the employee handbook. I can't. It's first of January. Now. I need to see what the employee handbook says. I think there's some state law that would have to be looked into when it comes to which way you go on that. Sorry if you gave me a heads up, I looked it all up before the meeting. I, I can't give you a heads up. Right in the down office. Did I give you an answer then? Because you your employee handbook's right there, so I'm sure I looked at it if we talked about it. Yeah, but you changed the employee handbook. Yes, we did last year. That was for no employees, I assume, not for existing. And that's what I just said to Jenny. I didn't think we agreed to grandfather in existing employees. I thought that was part of what we had said. Because you can't take away what we already got. I wouldn't fail. Even if we could, I wouldn't make a douche move like that anyway. <laughs> well, just like I wouldn't make a douche move to take off the old person January either. <laughs> but I don't want to lose it either. When I talked to you in the office, you, you asked me if I'd be willing to take weekly paychecks after I retired. Mm -hmm. And I said yes. Rather than take it. Rather than a lump sum. Rather than a lump sum. Because of retirement, we wouldn't be able to take a lump sum anymore, right? No. Nobody wants a lump sum payment after they retire. They just whack you on taxes. It's terrible. If we have to give you an answer tonight, I would say that I think we agree that existing employees would be grandfathered and we wouldn't get something away from me. But I think we do, when I say we, I mean me, of course. We'll look into, um, I will call the labor hotline and find out if we can do that weekly payment or how we have to do that, but. Yeah, I know I agree. That don't don't take what the man already has. It's just like it's all more weeks, January first. No, it's the most. Right. No, I'd probably, I think it's just a the I think it's just a matter of figuring out the most beneficial way for everybody to handle. Well, that's what I want. That's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to say no. We're going to take right. it. I think it's a matter of you need to figure out the best way to handle it. And I think if you call the time, the labor, it's earned time. Yeah. So time is an earned time. But Correct. Right. Vacations are earned time. Yeah. Because I got paid into that corner at one point and I did exactly, I did. I did exactly what you said you don't want to do. They painted me into that it's corner and I took two months off. It's just so hard to turn. Right. Yes. And you heard the company. We're not going to get the stuff done. And I don't want to do that. No. 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 I, I, no. And I appreciate yeah, that. Trying to take, you and I have had trying to take a week a month. Right. Let's go with we all assume at this point that we can. Your policy was doable when you're 
covered under the old, uh, the way it was before we changed it, and we'll just, we just gotta work out how we can pay that. Mm -hmm. That's all I have. No, that's, okay. all, that's all it is. It's all I have. The best way to do it. Thank you. Okay. I'll let you guys know about the track or sort of Yep. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is review of broadband RFPs. Uh, I'm going to let my scratch it throw rest and let Mr. begin to take over. This is his area of expertise. We have two. One from the design group. Who oh, I am very unfamiliar with and don't know a lot with, and not overly impressed with what I see. And one from Consolidated that I'm a little more familiar with and I understand more of. But I am waiting for both to call me back and plow through the pile of legal mumbo jumbo and stuff that's not really relevant and all of that before I really speak out of turn and say something stupid. So that's kind of where we stand. I've only had these, when do we get up Thursday? When say Thursday? Yeah. yeah. So I've only had it really three days where I could have done something and I've been emailed and haven't gotten the answers back. I know consolidated will probably, I know they will be willing to come up and have a meeting, not probably, they will be willing to come up and set up a meeting outside of this to sit and answer questions and go blow by blow and deal with uh, whatever anybody has to ask them. Um, potentially, um, potentially, it could be done at no cost to the town. State put out, no, I had not the name of it, but there's a grant out there right now that uh, the town can get 50% of the bond covered and the installing company can get the other 50% of the bond covered. You have to apply jointly. Um, so that is one option. This matrix design group is the other people that uh, reached out. They are partnered with some Millennium Communication Group, neither of which I've ever heard of. Um, it's I a friend of Joyce. They're from, they're, well, Matrix is actually based in Alabama, New Jersey, Colorado. There were six, Florida. There were six states where they seem to have corporate offices. Their insurance is drawn out of New Jersey. Yeah. Don't their insurance finds their insurance finds is drawn out of Jersey. Um, they have no experience that I can find anywhere in New Hampshire. They've done a few builds in Vermont. Their sister companies, Matrix Designs it, Millennium builds it. Their projected cost is three times what Consolidated projected, right off the bat. So I'm really not impressed with them. Um, but I'll give them the same opportunity that I give consolidated to explain themselves. Um, the meeting would be a public meeting? That's what we want. That's what we had often we had discussed. Um, yeah, I would think prior to that, yes. Um, part of their projected build up should we go down that road is a meeting with the um, should they come and sit, blah, 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 and we sign on the dotted line, then there's a meeting later on with the selectmen and approved officials regarding the building, um, which I'm going to, which is, I'm guessing is going to revolve around right away easements with what, what they can get to, where they can get to. It's another advantage, and I've talked about this before, consolidated already has right away the vast majority of phone calls here. These people have none. Uh, these people also expect the town of Rexton to provide uh, a facility for all the, uh, basically a terminal to run the wire, the, run the fiber out of a hub and pick up the tab for all the utilities, blah, 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 that can come with it. Um, you know, we've talked about Consolidated already has a presence. They're over here. These people start from scratch at our expense, should we decide to go that way. So 
I'll, I'll give them the opportunity to meet with everybody else and see if they even want to come up here and take it. I mean, that the public would be able to sit down the meeting and have questions on the I just said that, yeah. yeah okay. that, that was the original right. point. We had, we had actually gotten a date and time set up and decided to back off of it because we didn't have this piece of paper in front of us. How about the announced? Same way everything else is announced. Website? Website, post it to be a regular, well, I'll treat it. I don't know if it's going to be a town meeting or not. I would assume, I don't know, does that really fall on the town meeting? If it is a hearing, a public hearing? Public hearing, you know. But you know, either way, it'll be it'll be announced all the same. I think I would do something more. That's just an informational meeting with the consultant. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. questions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah the, 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 there's more questions to be asked that I really have concerns over. Theoretically, as far as applying for grants and stuff, there doesn't need to be a town meeting over that. We can apply for a grant. There doesn't need to be a town meeting. There doesn't need to be a vote. But I have questions like. What happens to my papa? What if you don't want five to run to your door? Are they, are, they, are they bringing five down the street and rolling up the copper behind you? So if you don't want five, does that mean now you have nothing? Or do they leave the existing copper of service for the people who want it? You know, questions like that. And we need to be answered before we can make an intelligent decision. As far as questions that uh, may impact the uh, rate structure, uh, the amount of money the town has to spend to uh, end each year, what I just that? I just covered that. That potentially it could be a great fifty percent on the town side to cover and fifty percent on their side to cover, and fifty and fifty is one hundred percent covered. If the rates fall through, then it becomes a bond issue and different grants and that kind of thing. The money is available right now. Is there an expiration time on the application? I didn't even have it yet. Like I said, I've, 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 I've had my hands on this thing for like not even a week. I didn't even see Sometimes the they come and go so quick. Mm -hmm. I haven't even seen it. No, it's yeah, that one that was out there last year was like a six weeks. The cutoff was 12 o'clock Wednesday. I literally got this at 11.58 Wednesday, right? 11.58, 11.59. Mm -hmm. And I run my business all day. I'm not dropping the business anymore to get all this stuff. So I send an email. But so, let's say the uh, townspeople should get an idea of what uh, the uh, cost impacts going to be before they actually have to. Uh, as far as what? Cost impacts. What cost impacts? As far as what? Either to the service or to the uh, town, the uh, tax rate. The tax rate is unaffected if it's covered by a grant because there's no need for a bond. What's our bill going to be? That's what he's they are projecting. The rates. They are projecting what's in there. It's thirty-five dollars a month locked for two years. Twenty-five megabits up, three down. Oh. What's in there? Do you read it? I told you I glanced through. I told you that's what they told me before, and you put it on paper. <coughs> Targeted rates. One year rate 35, two year rate 55, three year rate plus 55. That's a sample and that's an agreement though with somebody else. In the proposal they said two years locked. No. Two years locked, 35 a month. But, I mean, That'd be amazing. That'd be amazing because yeah. I couldn't even lock in at 55 now. You still get your... For less service. Federal dollar 24, whatever it is here. And I don't want to get too deep into that. That's why I said I want to talk to these people, have them go through it and come to Downey before I stop saying the wrong thing. And they made it very clear. 35 plus, you know, it's like when you go to Sprint and you get $50 for the and then you get the bill for $68 because there's tax and usage and this federal fee and this in general. Hand up in the back. Yes. Yeah. Hey, I'm Nicole. Um, I'm new in town. I wasn't going to talk. I was just going to listen, but I went through my whole town um, where I came from, mm -hmm. going through the whole internet fiber optic process. Where would that be? Pomfret, Vermont. Okay. Um, I was in the very north end of Pomfret, like almost in the White River Junction, mm -hmm. that way. 
And do you have a, like a third company you're looking at? We send out our we send out RFIs and not well, we send out an RFI, then we send out RFPs to every company that services Vermont, New Hampshire, and half of me. Because we used and we BC Fibernet and it was it was great. Like we didn't take was? anything away. What was it called? DC Fibernet? Mm -hmm. And then Edward Thank BC you. is in cat Fibernet. Okay. BC Fiber. No, they were not. 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 No, they were and No, they were not. 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 Once it got rolling, it was really easy. Well, all the people. And, and you don't have to have it at your door. It like goes down your road, and then you decide if you want to bring it to your sure. house or not. Yeah, these are similar because they can't they can come on your property. So these are all similar, which, which begs the question that I was at. If somebody says, no, I don't want somebody bringing cable here, well, are they going to rip the lock? Well, are they going to rip your copper out on the way by? You know what I mean? That, I think that's a valid question. So, but right. I mean, I I'll look into it. They weren't on the list, so no, I don't expect you to have the answer. I'm right. I mean, my, my take on it would be if it, if like EC FireNet is running wire, they're not going to take down consolidated, but consolidated could take down their own wire. Right. Well, that's the question I have. Right. Consolidated. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. But I'll, you know, I'll look into it. I might, even, for whatever reason, they're not on the list, and they gave us a list of people. I don't know, just they may not come into New Hampshire. I mean, I'll look at them and find out. Thank you. Sure. Is there anything at proprietary in this document, Mr. Tom? Uh, it starts out. It starts out with a uh, privacy statement. So I'm going to say it's proprietary, and it says specifically it's not public because there are what do they call it trade secrets. Blah 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 blah. Your typical read the dotted, read the fine print. Bullshit. So that's why I'm drawing the line of what I will say and will not. I will let them speak for themselves. Well, I'll just say again, I'd like to have uh, the opportunity if they uh, when, it, to when I get one that does not have the uh, uh, where exactly is it in here? The confidentiality statement that covers a full page. That says specifically it is proprietary. I'll be more than happy to share it with you. <laughs> or if you care to call their attorneys, you can feel free, because that's also in their confidentiality statement. Tiny one A covers this kind of negotiation that you can't. They can't see it. I know. Well, that's why I say I'm, just saying are, it. I'm well aware of that. But if he wants to call their attorneys, I'm glad I can that. I'm just asking Tom. What is the public going to have any uh, input or? Uh, if you feel what's going on, you sir. I don't know. Before a decision is made. I, I don't know. Before a decision is made, most definitely we will try to have an information. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. But like okay. I said, I, I don't know how many different ways I can say it. I'm waiting for an answer back and they'll come up here and meet with everybody. Well, hmm. All right. Next. Text deduction. Sue and I met with Rick. Whose last name I didn't write down? Sager. Sager. From New Hampshire Tax Deed Auction, which is a different outfit than we've used in the past for tax deed auctions. Um, had a, it was, it was a very good meeting. Um, we're looking at probably the end of October, if the two of you agree to go with this gentleman. We have, what do we have? Five? No, we're down to four. Uh, no, because I didn't count. Okay, so we have five properties to be deeded. Um, so this New Hampshire tax deed auction does all of the paperwork, including handling the deeds. Um, the only thing he asked is that we would give him um, power of attorney for just that specific piece so he can sign off on the deeds after the money comes in. He handles all the money. None of the students have to do all that extra running around. Um, 
What happened? Same genie. They had scheduling conflicts. But they did the same thing too. No? Mm -mm. I took care of the money. Yeah. They would come to me, pay me the money, and then we would do the closing. These people, if they buy the auction, they go meet with him, they do the closing with him, they give him the money, they sign the deed right then and there. He gives us what the town owns. Oh, and so, you know, if there's anything extra, he finds the previous property you want to be given back with there. It's out of our hands. And all he asks is the, well, he gets us the 10% buyer's fee that Jean St. Jean also did, but there's no, no cost to the town whatsoever. It's the same money in this place to work. Hmm? It's the same money in this place to work? Yes. I love this guy. Yeah. He's a retired attorney. Yeah. And doing auctions is his, his retirement hobby, he said. And he has a law firm that he works with to do the closings and all that. Mm -hmm. So if you two agree, well, Sue can contact him and go ahead and get a date set. He said it would be 30 to 40 days after we make the, we make the decision. I'm all for it. Yeah, all for it. Make a motion for him. I'll make, it, I'll make a motion yes. to ask Sue to contact the gentleman. Second. Thank you. I agree. I'm assuming you will put all this on paper. Yes, and actually, if you want, um, Sue's got, he had sent a, a sample agreement and uh, frequently asked questions. She can forward that to you guys if you want. Yes, I know. Just so I can look at it. But yeah, he's willing to put it all on paper and he's a lawyer to find and do it. Thank you. We're going to have to find something else for Sue to do, though. <laughs> well, not to worry. <laughs> <laughs> not to worry. Speaking of things for Sue to do. <laughs> Okay, I've talked to several towns regarding town credit cards. The way to go would be a commercial credit card where the town name is on it and then the person's name, but it's not attached to your individual credit. It's attached basically to the town, the company. Um, the problem is I need to find a bank to apply a commercial credit card. Mask almost not. Mask almost is not offered. So and every time, uh, a person changes an office. Right, 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 right. Because Tilton has it. And uh, the person I talked to said, you know, when somebody leaves or it's, doesn't win the election, you cancel that card, you apply for another one, and it's just about 10 day turnaround to get it in that person's name. You can set the limits on their card. American Express, no? I don't know. You have to get it through a bank. It has to be a commercial credit card. They do ask for your social security number, like the last four digits. Just make sure it's you if you call in and have a question or whatever. But um, Tilton has it for their um, highway department, fire department, town administrator, their selectman's office, town clerk. But they can set the limits. Um, so it sounds pretty good. And they have their, theirs is a visa. They have a rewards program. So at the end of the year, you know how much you ever use it, you get a check back, and that goes into the general, their general fund. It's an anticipated. So that's where we are at. I just haven't been able to find a bank. Well, because we're kind of out of the way. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Have you, did you try uh, Citizen? I have not yet. Ah. Far 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 far. Far. Probably, um, it used to be citizens, now it's five. Oh, that's an infill? Yep. Oh, yeah. No, I have not tried that. I thought that was a credit union, but that's a regular bank. That's a regular bank. Okay. So I tried the credit unions too, no, we don't have them. Oh, okay. So. Uh, Why does it have to be a bank? A credit card. Well, because that's where they're coming through. It's like, there, there's a screw. Why do I keep Bank of Omaha is where their visa comes through. So I'm saying, why, why can't it just be like a business agent? Because, I mean, that, I do all that stuff on my American Express through the company. It's got the company name on it, my name on it, I have one right. with my mother's name, I have one with Linda's name. That's a commercial credit card, probably. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Right, that's what we're trying to get. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that, that, that's what I was saying. Yeah. 
Did you go directly? I went right on their website to American Express one day. Right on their website. And now you do the same thing. Dad can only spend X and Y. Dad can't spend anything. I lost one, but my The way you take the you can only spend X. And it's just, you know, and it, you can actually have an email you when somebody does. That's just a suggestion. Okay. Okay. That's my parents. Okay. 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 What about that credit union across from what used to be Long Acres uh, in Lebanon? Merkel's oh. credit union? Is that part of it? Yeah, they don't have it. They don't offer it either. No. No, but I never one until they get there to the Bank of Omaha, and it's a visa. Visa card. So. Thanks for doing the live work on that. I'll look into that, please. Thank you. Thank you. Next up are two building modifications. Tucker Road. Map 15, C lot, 510. Half acre, is that a half acre or is it five acres? Half acre, lot. Hmm. I think we need to add a an addendum to our building modifications. That's something that uh, protects us. But if it's on the private roadway? Right. Yeah, yeah. You are responsible for this, this, and this. I know they have waivers. I know they have waivers. Well, oh, I mean, like that. We need to sign off on it. Now. Right. Yeah. Because, I mean, they buy property up there knowing full well what they're getting into. And they're supposed to be summer places and maybe once in a while in the winter, but all of a sudden they want to live there for a time. Yeah. So I I mentioned too that I think we should put something in the letter, because Stu sends a letter telling them it was approved. <clears throat> we should put something in there saying, you know, just so you're aware, this is a private road, you know, it's not yeah. much maintained. This yeah, is a place for seasonal. Off. Exactly. Or Would it make more sense to have them sign a waiver before you sign the paper? Right. Yeah. It would. It's kind of a more point at this point for this one, unless we went back and asked them to do that before we signed it. We can almost it. says it in their deeds, too. Yeah. I think. I know it says it on the listings. Yeah. Because I went through and looked at all the listings that I saw. All of them that were up there when I drove through, and I went and looked them up on Zillow and here and there. And they all say seasonal campground, whatever. We can still table. They don't have project for quite some time. Okay. Shane asked if we could table this one. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I'm good with that too. Second one 504 Wild Meadow Road, David Carter, map 13, lot 830, 4.1 acres. They are just putting an addition on an existing house. Yeah. Don't look at it before we. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they've been working on that all summer. Yeah. Yeah, I've noticed when I go by. Um, we're just going to table it and look to see if we have a waiver. The waiver is, yes, and see what the waiver says. Is an acknowledgement, something that you are aware. I'm sure we do. Okay. We've got waivers for other things too. So you want to table it, send them the waiver, and then we'll sign it after we get the waiver back? Okay, okay thank you. So, are we good on this one? Yep. Are you good? Yes, ma'am. Just case I forget how to do it. Could be Yeah, I feel like I'm going to give you this one back too. And we're on to the mailbag. First is a letter from Sue Jakowski to the planning board, and we are CC'd out. 
Uh, dear board members, I am writing to you as a 43-year resident taxpayer and citizen of good standing of the town of Grafton. I raised my three children here and have contributed my time, energy, and money to making our town a great place to live over the years. I recently watched the recording of the meeting of the Grafton Planning Board that was recorded on July 23, 2021. I am writing because there were things that occurred during that meeting that I find distressing and downright embarrassing for our town. <clears throat> some of the comments made by some of our town officials were defamatory of individual members of our community, both past and present. Although names were not used, it was clear to those present of whom they were speaking. I am concerned that this type of speech could possibly put the town on shaky legal ground if those individuals were made aware of it and chose to take action. Some of the audience members were allowed to do this as well, and nothing was said by the members of the board about the inappropriate nature of these comments from the public. I have also noticed this happening during some other town board meetings. These meetings are available online to be seen by anyone who wishes. I would think our town leaders would want to show a civil, positive, polite, and orderly meeting rather than what is seen at these meetings. I hope this will be addressed in future meetings. Thank you for your attention, Sue Chikowski. We have a letter here from, from Bob Guida, and this is, excuse me, <coughs> I'm sure this is a form letter that his office sent out because it pretty much covers everything he came and spoke to us about, and it finishes with um, that he's not visiting people because of COVID, and if we would like to meet with him to let him know. So if anybody, do you need me to read it all? I mean, was, most of you were here when he came to talk, but he's, it just basically talks about what they accomplished this past session. Well, anybody can stop in the office too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, this is a postcard from Health Trust, a public hearing notice on September 21st at either 9.30 a.m. or 3 p.m. They will be having a hearing to discuss rate setting and the return of surplus for the Health Trust coverage line items, <clears throat> or, I'm sorry, lines of coverage. Um, join us to learn more if you're interested. Da, da, da. We have an approval for a uh, septic system. Property is at 1271 Main Street. Subdivision of land of Dugan Properties. Owner Michael and Amanda McElhaney. That is one weird sept. Well, oh, actually, it's leach. Yeah, it's the yeah. leach building out here. Yeah. Right there, right yeah, side of the road. It's it comes down the side of the road. Yeah. There's a right away. Well, they own their own properties, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah. That is here. Yeah. There's no pictures. No pictures. That was in the construction the last time. Oh. <laughs> Two times ago. We have two struggles. Four. Yeah, it's right there. That's the end of the mail day. Public comments and... So what the heck is the date on Sue's letter? The date on Sue's letter. She dated it August 10th, but I didn't get it from her until August 23rd. Okay, and it was addressed to the planning board. Planning board and CC to the selectmen. Okay, so I guess we'll see at the next planning board. Yes. Okay. Sure. Yes. Anyone else? Yes, uh, sir. Uh, getting back to the beach. Uh, I didn't think of it. I'd like to get yeah. back to the beach. Could we? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a tree that came down during the uh, last night. Yep. And uh, there's two big humps of wood and a uh, oh, it's still up there? Yes. Uh, you mean somebody cleaned all of it up with two pieces? These are big pieces. Yeah. And, uh, it was my daughter that took it and cleaned it up. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't think her. And this, uh, these two big pieces uh, there, yeah, she can't. It would take a machine to move. So, I to, uh, if we get the board to uh, somehow get it uh, removed, to just to clean the beach up some. And also, uh, we could have put that on Bobby's plate. <laughs> on his uh, video list. Now the question, uh, does the select board have a problem if we, uh, the old raft that uh, is there sitting on the uh, beach, uh, Rick, I would like to remove it 
and, and I possibly offer it up for sale if anybody's interested. Yeah. What would you do with the money? Put it in the uh, uh, In your account? account? Oh. How did it come to be donated? It was donated. Yes. Very good recommendation. Yeah. Okay. Right? Canaan? Yeah. They donated it to the Yeah, the guy from Canaan donated it. Mm -hmm. It came at the same time we were doing the ramp, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. So, I don't know. Good something like that. And I don't know whatever happened to that boat ramp that was uh, supposed to be taken care of. Uh, on the far end of uh, Route 4. Uh, on the Bergeron Lane? Yes, uh, on the Bergeron Lane. Uh, at one point, I know the road agent was supposed to meet with the uh, DES and, uh, and it was in the talk of you know, opening it, getting it opened back up so that townspeople could take and uh, use it. Yeah. And I remember that. It was, it's been talked about a lot for, for quite a while. Quite a long time. Time. Yep, it's on my list donating land to the state for a boat ramp on Kilton Pond. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, again, this is items that go on the to do list and nothing other than that happens with it. That's because something bigger comes along in this. <laughs> well, I know the one on Bergeron Lane, you're able to cut back the brush. Yep. But in order to do a ramp, we had to get a wetlands permit. Mm -hmm. And it was it was going to cost. And I know the slogan at the time said, no, we don't want to spend all that money. And, and I thought it was, I thought the DES said that they would do it if we donated the land. But as long as that's our land, they're not going to do it. So if we donated the land to the state, then they would take care of it. That's, that's where I remember it sitting in the audience. But Maybe we should find out how much a ramp would cost and put it on as a bar So that we don't it instead of the state? Yeah, because it would be the application fee, the, <coughs> all this other stuff. And then you've got to have a And then we own the liability, too. Right.
Is that what we can review or what you can hold down? That's true. Sure, we can yeah. just make sure Paul's here with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> she won't watch it anyway. She hates watching it. Yeah. Um, do we want to do it before the next meeting or, or do it before or after that? We could do it just before the meeting if we want to do it non public. It would have to be on the public, yes. But I'm saying we can do it at like 5.30, quarter to 6. Mm -hmm. 10 to 6. Yeah, do, it before the do it before the next meeting? Yeah. Okay. So we will. I'll, I'll write up what I think the review should say and send it to you guys. And you okay. can add comments and. and add a little funny Yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay, now should take it. Yeah, now I'll take the motion. I'm not going to make it up. Motion to adjourn. Second. Anchor. Motion to adjourn.